Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. We are learning about the flexbox layout mechanism. In the previous session, we have learned about the flex direction and also the properties like row, row reverse, column, column reverse, and all those things we have learned it. Now let's learn in this session about the wrapping of the flex items. For example, let's say that we have already seen it right i have shown you uh, div into something around that or otherwise and greater than item dollar oh sorry item i can have a dollar here or otherwise let's make it keep it as item only okay oh sorry i'm having like this right or otherwise let's try to keep it as u star 10 item okay we can have a dollar or otherwise see i will try to show you item dollar then you will get it like this one two three four five i will remove these all things now let's say that we are having something like item one two three four five ten items if you try to see the output here already in yeah now we are able to see item one item two like this we are able to see it here by default okay the items will take how much content is there that much content only it will try to take it for example let's say that <coughs> i will add some more items here i am adding some more items let's see what will happen still we are having some white space uh, some parent space is available let's try to add some more items here now if you try to see here before overflowing okay so now the maximum it has been reached right before overflowing the content available in the flex items will behave as an will take the minimum width okay before overflowing before overflowing the items displaying using the initial values will shrink as small as they can down to the minimum content size before the overflow happens that is the main thing you need to understand before the overflow happening it will shrink as much as it can to the minimum content we have seen about the min content max content fit content those all things we have already seen now let's try to add some more items here now see still we are we are able to we are not getting the we are not getting overflow items now we'll try to add another items another some items now if you try to see here still we are able to accommodate some of the items now let's try to add some more items i am adding some more items now if you try to see here now we are able to get a scroll bar why because now the items cannot be fitted into this one okay or otherwise what i can do is instead of having these all the things let's say that i am having a div lorem ipsum okay we will see how this one behaves now we are having like this right i will have another lorem ipsum let's see what how it will behave see we are having two containers okay two items like this and i will add another one let's see how it will behave so now if you are if you are able to see here three so exactly it is trying to fit it without over without doing the overflow so i will try to add some more items like this now let's see that so now still it is trying to fit it but it has been overflowed here it has been overflowed now we got the overflow <coughs> now items displaying using the initial values we have seen it right now the here we don't want the items to be overflowed if the items has been reached the maximum of its parent container the width so we should wrap that means if we should make the items to come in the next line so for that one the property which is useful is the flex wrap by default the initial value of this flex wrap property is the no wrap this means that if there is not enough space in the container the items will overflow so now if you want to you know here automatically the items are overflowing right i if you go to the css here and here i can use flex wrap okay flex wrap flex wrap no wrap here you will be able to see it right no wrap now when you try to do this no wrap the output will come same exactly as the previous one why because the default value or the initial value for this flex wrap is no wrap now i want to wrap it wrap means it will come in a next line so now here if you try to see here all that content has been wrapped 
<clears throat> so this is how we can do it for example let's remove this lower website and all those things and go back to the uh, item one item two item three those things only so that we can have it now we are having these all the things right if you try to see the output let's see how it will look like see here up to the item temp it has been the content the container has been filled now it is coming in the next line so now here this is how <clears throat> the flex wrap works so when a flex container wraps it creates the multiple flex lines so here this is the first flex line and this one is the second flex line so when you use the flex container wrap in terms of space distribution each line acts as a new flex container now you can have so this one acts as a new flex container and this one also acts as a new flex container therefore if you are wrapping rows it is not possible to get something in a row 2 to line up with something above it in the row 1 for example i want this item 10 to be coming uh, for example i want this item 9 to be coming in the second row means we cannot do it like this why because this first line we have as a single flex container and the second line acts as a single flex container so that is why this is why we will call it as an one dimensional one dimensional means we cannot control the two, two 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 lines like this so i want to item nine to take the two rows means i cannot take it i cannot do it like that so this one acts as individual and this one acts as an individual so that is the reason the flex box is called as a one dimensional this one we can do it you can control the alignment on one axis either a row or a column or both not both together we can do it in the grid okay so that one we can use it we can do it with the css grid we will try to do it so here you can control alignment only in one axis either a row or a column not both together so you cannot access both the row and column together either you can access the row or or column so that's it that's the main thing as we can do it in the grid so here for example item 8 i want to take it first row and the second row also if you want to take it means column wise also if you want to take it means it will not take it so that is a that is a flex wrap so now we understood about the flex wrap property now let's try to uh, learn about the another shorthand method that is nothing but a flex flow so flex flow shorthand this is a shorthand property you can set the flex direction and also the flex wrap properties using the shorthand property that is nothing but a flex flow for example i want to set the flex direction to column and also i want to allow the items to wrap it so normally what i will try to do here so what I, what is the what is the, the scenario i want it i want to have the flex direction to be column and the flex wrap to be rapid so this is the two property values which we will try to do it so this is how it will come now we can remove this one and we can use the shorthand property that is nothing but a flex flow so flex flow is the combination of flex direction and also the flex wrap so flex flow is column and i can use the wrap that's it so this is the shorthand prop shorthand property so this is the main thing you need to understand so now if i try to show if i try to see the output then also i will be able to get the same output if i change this one as a row now see the flex direction is row and the flex flow flex wrap is the wrap now if you see here the previous output will come so this is about the flex flow shorthand property and also the flex wrap property in the flex box hope you understood about this flex wrap and also the flex flow property if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you